Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. It's the Timely Teacherpreneur here. If you're new around here, my name's Rainy Barton. I'm an elementary music teacher for grades K through five in Central Florida. And I also am a teacherpreneur productivity mentor. So I help teacherpreneurs master their time and energy while scaling their biz so that they can ditch the hustle and grind, break up with busy, and stop sacrificing their mental health. So you will find all sorts of tips and tricks on productivity, time management, you name it, we're gonna dive into it. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about habit stacking and how you can stack habits shortly and briefly one at a time so that you can actually create routines and things that you will actually accomplish instead of always setting habits or goals and always falling through on them and always feeling defeated. So before we dive into that, let's recap on a couple of things. So um, I didn't do any videos last week and that's because my car crapped out on me. If you, I mean, most of you probably don't know this because this YouTube channel is new, but I've had like six car accidents in my life and pretty much none of them were my fault. I've gone through, this is my third car in six years. Yeah, in six years, um, it's been a heck of a journey. Um, anyway, this one crapped out. We're pretty sure it's the transmission, but it's stuck at Hyundai. Fun fact, apparently Hyundai got hacked by cyber terrorists like a month ago and they were held at ransom for $20 million, their whole systems. And so because of that, they're like a month behind on repairs. So my car could be there for a hot minute. I've had my mother-in-law's OG minivan for a week now. So yeah, that's fun. And I wasn't able to go visit my family in the Keys because of this. So this video is here instead of in the Keys. Um, but now also, look, I found overalls, which if you're like, what are you wearing? <laughs> I love overalls. I just, I love them so much. I've always wanted a pair since I was pregnant with Lincoln and pregnancy overalls are like $80, $90, y'all. Mama don't got money to spend on that. So I found these for $8 at the thrift store. Thrift store for the win. And I found this floral top too, so it can't be beat. But you're probably here to talk all about habit stacking. So let's dive it in. Oh, before I forget, this may look a little bit different. Normally I'm like a lot closer to the bookshelf and things. Um, I wanted my ring light behind my desk and that is a whole journey in and of itself. If you see that blanket, it is hiding a mess of all sorts. The floor is, let's just say, you might not be able to see the floor right now. I have a lot of reorganizing and rearranging to do, but it was much needed. So I'm excited to take care of that. But now let's dive into habit stacking. Now, what exactly is habit stacking and how do we implement it into our lives? Now, I first learned about habit stacking through James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, which if you haven't purchased it or read it, definitely go do so. I'm almost done with it. I'm going to be doing a book review on it soon and it has changed the game for me. But habit stacking is habit stacking <laughs> is essentially taking an established habit that you already have down really solid and attaching a new habit to it so that you are able to have that habit happen more frequently and more often because you're attaching it to a solid habit. So let's do an example of a solid habit that you have in the morning. You probably wake up, get out of bed, go into the bathroom and brush your teeth. Okay, so maybe after you brush your teeth, because you always are brushing your teeth, you're going to want to drink a whole glass of water. You can have a glass already there in the bathroom, or you can have a bottle of water already there in the bathroom. But as soon as you're brushing your teeth, you're gonna kick into that habit of, oh, I need to drink a glass of water right after this because I need to drink more water throughout my day. And so then eventually you just add it on and it becomes a habit. You brush your teeth, you drink your water. You brush your teeth, you drink your water. You don't have to think about it because I promise you're not thinking about brushing your teeth. So, I mean, unless maybe you are, maybe you're one of those people that doesn't forget and you have to go to the dentist a lot. Um, but in general, most people don't forget to brush their teeth. So adding a habit behind it and stacking it allows you to have a much greater success than if you were to just attach it to something that you don't even do all of the time. Now, the biggest problem that I see with habit stacking is that people will habit stack like 10, 10 habits all at once. So like maybe you're one of those people that's like, I want to have a rockin' morning routine where I'm going to wake up an hour and a half before I normally do like a 5:30 instead of seven. And I'm gonna, you know, journal and exercise and meditate and shower and do affirmations and all that good stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. But how have you noticed 
where you start out on day one and you're really strong and you start out on day two and it's going really well. And then on day three, you hit snooze and you're like, oh, I'll get back up tomorrow. And then day four, you hit snooze and day five. And then eventually before you know it, that was a sad distant memory that you had where you actually did your routine. It's because we have these unrealistic expectations that we have to implement all of the habits right away. They all have to happen right now. And if they don't, it didn't go perfectly. I'm a failure. I shouldn't continue. And that's a terrible mentality to have. So instead, wouldn't it be that much better if you started out with one habit and you got really good at it and then you added another habit and another habit and another habit and then slowly but surely you built that morning routine that you wanted, but you did it slowly and you got really good at each habit before you introduced another one into the mix. So let's talk about um, a couple of examples of how you can do this in your life and how I've been doing it to make habits go a lot better for me. Now, the thing that's really great about habit stacking is that it allows you to celebrate the tiny victories and the small steps along the way. So for example, if you're, let's see, what's a really good example? Okay, if you're training for a marathon and you ran three, three miles is the most that you've ever run before, and then you ran five one day, celebrate that. Then you ran seven miles the next day, celebrate that. Because if you wait to celebrate yourself until you've ran the marathon, it's like, okay, now what? What goal's next? You're just always going to be goal chasing and goal seeking. And you're never going to remember that like the tiny steps along the way deserve to be celebrated. It would be just like if you were writing a book and you didn't celebrate until you finished the whole book. You're like, nope, can't celebrate myself. I've written 399 pages, but that's not worth it to celebrate. Heck yes, that's worth it to celebrate. You wrote 399 pages. Is your book good? I don't know. That's for the audience to decide, but you still wrote the book. So you should be proud of yourself. So the really great thing about habit stacking is that it lends itself really well to allowing yourself to celebrate all of the tiny victories. Let's break into a couple of habits of uh, examples of habits and things that you can do to habit stack. So let's do an example of morning routine, like I said. Okay, so maybe you have to leave for work at seven in the morning and you wanna get up at 5.30, but you don't ever get up at 5.30. If you just try to get up at 5.30 every single day, it's not going to happen. And trust me, I know because that is me. I don't like to wake up at 530 in the morning. So I have a really hard trouble waking up at 530 in the morning. And so I actually had a friend that taught me to do this with the time. Wake up 10 minutes earlier than normal. Instead of, okay, so maybe you don't have to leave for work at 7. You get up at 7. Instead of getting up at 7, get up at 650 for an entire week. Then once you do that, get up at 640. Bump it up 10 more minutes and 10 more minutes. You're tricking your brain to say, it's only 10 minutes difference. It's not that big a deal. And then eventually, a couple weeks down the line, you'll be waking up at 5.30 and your body will be trained and used to it because they're just thinking, oh, it's just 10 minutes. It's really an hour and a half, but you didn't jump the gun and just try to do it from day one. I promise you, I've been doing this because I cannot get up in the morning, so I cannot do it. So if you are used to waking up at a certain time every day and you have to get up earlier, or you wanna get up earlier because you have kids and you want that alone time, or you just wanna be able to do some sort of morning routine, habit training. So do it from seven to 6.50 to 6.40, 6.30, so on and so forth. So then once you actually have the time and you've got it to where you want it to be, that's where the habit stacking comes into play. You'll take your established routine. So for example, I said the brush the teeth thing because that is something I actually do. And I did attach the drink to the glass of water behind it because I need to drink more water. I'm notorious for not drinking enough water throughout the day. So this at least guarantees that I'm drinking water, which I actually have a couple of habits spread throughout the day that make me drink water so that I'm getting my regular intake. But I, I drink the water. Then after the water, I will typically get dressed or get into workout clothes if I can and I will try to do a workout. Then after I work out, I will read a little bit of my book, I'll check my emails, I'll pack my lunch, and I'll go. And I have it stacked each of those things. So after the water, I knew automatically I had that trigger connection that I have to get into my workout clothes. And then of course, I'm already in my workout clothes, so there wasn't that much of a connection point that I had to do to get to working out. And then after working out, it wasn't that big of a connection point, I obviously had to shower. Then after that, the shower, my connection point after that was that I have to eat. So then I would eat really quickly. And while I'm eating, I would trigger it to read a book or a chapter of whatever book I'm reading at the time. And then as I'm throwing my trash out and putting my food away, I can pack my lunch really quickly uh, with fruits and all of that stuff. And then I check my email right before I go and I head out. All of that took 
different times of me just training each one for like a week. And if it didn't happen, let's say I shot to wake up every day at 5.30 for seven days in a row, and I only did it for four. Then maybe next time I would shoot for doing it five times. And maybe I don't add on another habit just yet. I just work on that habit still. And then I add on another habit after I succeeded at getting five in a row. Then you can add another habit. But if the ha first habit you're trying to do is not being consistent, then it means one, you either need to change new, change the habit because it's just not going to be consistent for you, or you need to really keep practicing that one before you can introduce other habits into the mix. Let's do a health and fitness example. Maybe you want to lose 10 pounds in a month. If you just say, all right, I'm going to lose 10 pounds and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to drink all half my body weight in water. I'm going to stop eating after dinner. I'm going to, you know, all of these different things that are going to help me lose those five pounds. And you just try to do them all on day one. Not going to happen. So let's pretend that there's five habits you want to fix. You want to go to bed earlier or go to bed earlier. You want to wake up earlier. You want to drink half your body weight in ounces. You want to eat healthy all day long and you want to stop eating after dinner. Try adding one of those at a time. So maybe start with the going to bed earlier. Train that for a week. Then add the waking up earlier. Train that for a week. Then start to worry about what you're eating. Bump that up. Once you've gotten kind of comfortable in what you're eating, maybe you add the drink your half your body weight in water. But as you start to not pay attention to all of those other things and you're trying to focus on just one thing, you'll be amazed at how those other things kind of just come into play because you're not actively thinking about them. Like you'll probably be eating healthier than you would because you know that you have that end goal, but you're not focused on, I have to eat healthy for every single meal. You're focused on, I'm trying to go to sleep earlier so that I feel rejuvenated in the morning and I'm ready to go so that I can work out and lose the weight that I need to lose. So you actually can give yourself a lot more credit than you probably are. All of those things, yes, you're trying to fix them all at once, but if you just focus on one specific thing, it's just, it's really amazing, I promise, how everything else ties into play. Um, it's just like that for any goal that you set. If you focus on one specific goal instead of like five goals, all of the other goals that you wanted to accomplish, they end up working out because you were really, really diligent with the one major goal. So let's remember all of the steps on how to have it stack. So one, you need to first choose an established habit that you already have that you can stack other habits behind. Two, you need to actually take a habit that you can stack and add it to the established one. And then three, you need to take it slowly. Implement one habit like a week at a time. And yes, you can have a stack of routines. You can have a stack just one thing. Like I have a friend that every time she brushes her teeth immediately after she says affirmations to herself in the mirror to prep herself for her day ahead, which I really, really love. You can do it for all sorts of things. You could have it where for your son's bedtime routine. So after they do all the things, when you tuck them into bed, you uh, end up doing your prayers together. Or when you jump into bed, you immediately start reading a book for 15 minutes. Or when you get out of bed, you immediately make your bed. Yes, you can have it stack that. You really can. You can have it stack anything that you want to put your mind to. But if you're interested in habit stacking and learning a lot more about it, then I definitely recommend checking out um, Atomic Habits by James Clear. There's other websites and things that you can look up, but habit stacking has seriously changed the game for me. It's helped me be able to actually have a semblance of a morning routine. And it's just helped me be able to achieve my habits that much better because if I am attaching them to established routines that I'm going to be doing all the time anyway, then it's just easy to make that connection point. And yes, um, put reminders everywhere, put sticky notes. So for example, if you know that you want to drink that glass of water after you brush your teeth, have a sticky note on the mirror that says drink your water. That way, you know, oh, I need to drink my water. And then eventually you can take the sticky note down. You don't need the sticky note anymore. But that's all I have for you on habit stacking. This is the short and sweet video. I hope it was super helpful for you and that you are able to go and habit stack your way to success. We will definitely have more videos like this in the future. So if you like this video, hit a little like and subscribe and share with your friends so that everybody can habit stack their way into success. And with that, I am going to go. I've got to film a couple more videos and take care of this mess behind me. So I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.